It's called My Wife Died in 2013. I've spoken to her nine times since then. I check my watch once more. Two minutes. I pulled up a chair next to the wall phone that my old house still had. I felt butterflies in my stomach, which bothered me. I mean, I had done this so many times that you'd think I'd get used to it. But I just couldn't. It just made me feel so uncomfortable. One minute. I glanced over the paper, which was filled with questions I had pre-written for this moment. I knew I wouldn't have long when it finally happened, so I was prepared. A lot of trial and error had brought me to where I was today. I was not about to waste another year just waiting. Like, I didn't know exactly why this was happening, but I sure as hell was going to make the most of it. Ten seconds. Ten seconds until I was able to speak to her once more. Ten seconds to the exact moment she had died ten years beforehand. Ten years and she was so cruelly taken from me by someone who was never brought to justice. I pulled out my phone and set a one-minute timer. The wall phone began to ring. I started the timer and answered the phone. Ava, I said cautiously. It was important to begin the conversation slowly without pouring in too much information. I did not want a repeat of 2016. Mark, the voice on the other side said. Is that you? Where am I right now? Why is it so cold? It's all right, sweetie. You're okay, I said, trying to be soothing. I kept an eye on the clock and remaining conscious of the time tried to get the ball rolling. Oh, Eva, I have a question for you. Do you remember what happened before just now? I, I was I, I was walking by the lake near our house. Someone pushed me and I, I fell in. That was good. Her memory seemed better this time around. Eva, I need you to do something for me. Can you tell me what the color of the person's hoodie was? What? what? Just try for me, please. It was blue, I think. Yeah, I remember seeing it when I fell in. She paused for a moment. I I don't remember getting out of the lake. I have one more question for you, sweetie. I said, trying to distract her from the line of thought. Mark, am I dead? What's going on? Sighing, I reached for the pen and wrote, Killer wore blue hoodie. That information nailed it down to three suspects near the crime scene of her death. I figured all I needed was one more call with her to determine who her killer was. Where am I, Mark? She continued, her voice rising as she spoke. Say something, please. How did I get here? Why is it so cold? She started screeching through the phone, yelling at me to explain what was happening to her. One more year. I hung up the phone. And there you go.